This is CCTA case number 26. This is a 35-year-old man with a history of high cholesterol who has had progressive dyspnea with effort over the past several weeks. Let's first look at his coronary arteries. Uh, this is somewhat uh, uh, fuzzy images, that is the uh, image quality is not uh, superior. There are two phases which can be switched back and forth by doing the Sine controls. The left main appears to be normal if we proceed down into the left anterior descending. Uh, we can rotate around this. This appears to be possibly mixed but uh, eccentric uh, non-obstructive disease involving the LAD. The remainder of the vessel is actually uh, normal. Uh, you have to play with it a little bit back and forth, but changing phases along the way. But this appears to be normal. Let's take a look at the circumflex vessel. Comes off about here. We can proceed down to look at this very small uh, vessel, a normal uh, OM value here. Uh, and uh, the rest of the vessel appears to be frankly normal. Let's look at the uh, right coronary. Again, difficult to evaluate, but uh, you can follow the right coronary all the way down. Proximal segment is normal. So we proceed to the distal segment going to the foot view. This appears to be normal, and there is also a small uh, but normal uh, posterior descending. Uh, the key feature, though, in this patient is not his coronary arteries, which only shows mild uh, non-obstructive disease. Uh, let's change this uh, by uh, making this a little bit smaller. We get a bit more of the view in here. Get this to the middle and then I'm going to switch to uh, what is called a lung window. Now in the lung window we want to start looking at other features. Within this clearly cardiac field of view we need to get a better idea. As we look uh, around the aorta you get an idea that there's a fullness involving the anterior mediastinal surface. As you proceed caudad, you can see that around the pulmonary uh, trunk, you can see some encasement, if you will, of uh, what appears to be some solid tissue. Uh, we can get a better idea of the density of this. Could it be fat? Well, this is fat up here uh, in the anterior mediastinum involving the heart. This density is somewhat less. If we uh, get a little better idea by where we can compare uh, tissue with tissue, let's go up a little bit further, get to the anterior mediastinal structures here, and I'm going to look at densities. Uh, in this area here, I'm getting a density of about 58 Hounsfield units, I can move this around, it's uh, generally 48 to 70 in that range. If we go up to what clearly is uh, muscle in these areas, tissue, I'm getting uh, densities of 120, uh, 45 in the muscle, getting values that are consistent with um, solid density values. This person uh, likely has a lymphoma. Uh, Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's, difficult to separate out, but uh, this is likely the cause of the progressive shortness of breath. There is uh, clearly some changes in the lungs as well, but uh, coronary disease is not this individual's problem, and you need to be very careful in looking at the remainder of the cardiac field of view because there is clearly a, a solid anterior mediastinal mass here.